Can you tell us what is transmission? Mm, in the literal sense, you mean? How we'd like to interpret it. I think it's uh, two ways you can see it. One, where you understand what it is. And one, where uh, we just assume what it might be. When we assume what it might be, it's just a continuity of a lineage. And uh, it is being passed down to you with the compassion and wisdom of the mind of the teacher and with all his blessings and uh, uh, aspirations and kindness. Uh, but not necessarily a person who receives understands the profundity and the vastness and the uh, value of what you are receiving, which is very unfortunate. True transmission would be a worthy vessel receiving this precious nectar of teachings. Okay. And related to that, <coughs> what is empowerment? Well, empowerment in general is supposed to be a uh, it is, it should be uh, a genuine pointing out instruction. It is about just the uh, Abhishek as the term comes from or Wang or the empowerment as it says is this presenting of body, speech, mind, activity and so forth direct, uh, read directly to the recipient. Uh, however, again, depending on the one who receives it, one may see it in a very simple way. Uh, one may see it as a way of just dispelling obstacles or receiving blessings and whatever different based on, based on one's intent and maturity of the mind. Otherwise, empowerment is being able to really initiate the person into uh, being able to embody the transference of that essence of the teaching or the cycle of the teachings in that moment. It is same theory you would apply is that what you would then um, enthrone <coughs> somebody, or a crown prince would take his seat as the one who would embody what the sovereign is. That's the same logic that you would take. In this, however, what is being done is that the aspects of the primordial wisdom nature of the mind is being presented, and it's almost being able to take your seat in being able to embody what is your innate nature. <coughs>